it's Happy Healthy Hooper here. So today I'm going to show you everyone's favorite hooping trick, isolations. Um, but first, really quick, I wanted to say, don't uh, use your beginner dance hoop for this. It just takes too much arm strength and it doesn't look cute. So I would go to Poly Pro three quarters width and I would get 32 to 33 inches. Uh, the reason why is because when you grow out of this big hoop, uh, 32, 33 for Poly Pro is pretty good for your first advanced hoop. Um, and in the meantime, you can do your isolations on it. And people really like this trick. It, it's nice to do, and people think it looks cool. So, uh, alright, so we're going to start like any trick uh, to stand up straight. And also be kind to yourself because this is confusing, but you will get it. <laughs> So we want to be about in the middle of the hoop, okay? And then think of it like a clock. We are the clock hand and we are at six. We're holding onto the hoop like that with a pretty fairly tight grip starting out. And keeping our arms stiff, we're going to move up here. And then we're going to have to bend our arm slightly. And then we're going to do what's called a passive grip. And I'm going to show you that really quick. That's the passive grip, but... It's really confusing and you won't know what I'm talking about, but you will get it. So again, stiff and then letting our arm bend. And then the passive grip is letting go, rolling your hand, and then sliding the top of our hand along the inside of the hoop and then we're grabbing it again. So like I said, it's confusing and you won't get it at first, but you will eventually. Um, so just keep going and yeah don't hold on with your other hand this is a bad habit and you want to build up this arm strength so passive grip okay it's pretty slow and you're just gonna have to keep practicing it and you'll get it eventually I swear <laughs> so this is this way but you can also go this way but it's the same thing our arm is straight and then when we're here, we're going to have to bend it a little bit and then let go for the passive grip and then go back. And then the other hand, same thing. So straight, bending a little bit, passive grip. Straight, bending a little bit, passive grip. Um, and though you may like going this way a lot or this way or whatever, you want to do it on both hands, both directions, because that way, if you think about it, it's one trick, but doing it like all different directions in both hands and such, you basically have four different tricks. And that's pretty cool, like when you're trying to do a flow session, you can, you know, trade off, and you have enough like tricks built up there. You already got four tricks in one, basically. Uh, and a great way to practice is to do like both hands 20 times each in both ways. So, you know, go like this way 20 times, and then when this arm gets stiff, switch over to the other arm and go this way 20 times each. And then when you see this is going, we're going to go back here, other way 20 times, and again, the other way 20 times. Um, and you'll get really good at this if you do that every day, the 20 times each way with both hands. Um, and don't give up, like, if, if, like, I mean, if you got this down at least, and then you tried it, the left hand doesn't work, just keep practicing, because like I said, you really want to be able to do both arms, um, you know, so just keep practicing, and I swear you'll get it, but at first, it's really confusing, or maybe it won't be, and maybe you'll get it right away, but really, if you don't get it right away, that's totally fine, and you will get it, because, like, I could not do this at all my first time, so, I mean, you will get it, and then eventually you'll be able to kind of dance it out, <laughs> but anyway, um, so I hope this helped, uh, and please, like, leave any comments and such below, and let me know, like, what trick you want to learn next, and I will answer right away, and I'll make that video right away, <laughs> so, um, uh, see you guys later.